हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक अगेन इन माय लेक्चर सीरीज आई एम मिस्टर प्रदीप काछिया वर्किंग एज अ हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट डॉक्टर सुभाष साइंस कॉलेज जूनागढ़ एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉकिंग अबाउट की स्टोन स्पीसीज एंड इन वेरी ब्रीफली व्हाट इज द की स्टोन स्पीसीज की स्टोन स्पीसीज इज अ टाइप ऑफ द स्पीसीज विच इज which is some species i mean some species available in environment and ecosystem which are having in a especially great importance for other species surrounding that species relative to its abundance that means a number of keystone species is very important for other species that available surrounding other species and that is the very truly thing because this is a start of all other species because the abundance of keystone species will help many other species live to live and thrive together so let give you simple example wall things example like sea oyster we will discuss again of example in detail first we start with introduction a keystone species is a plants or animals that play a unique and crucial role in the way of ecosystem and function without keystone species the ecosystem would be dramatically different or cases to exist together the concept of keystone species or first described by what is the keystone words it's 1969 by robert t pen robert t pen is a professor of zoology at the university of washington it uh, figures on the some starfish uh, bulk amount in the starfish starfish is the keystone predator and mussels like keystone prey this figures shows the benefits of keystone species like regulation animal population some example we discuss in this presentation pollination remove genetic weakness recycle the nutrition waste and enhance the habitats keystone species is an organism that helps hold the system together this is the main key role function of the keystone species without its keystone species ecosystem would look very different because this some example are there some uh, we discuss uh, some example आपने सुना ही होगा एक कीस्टोन पत्थर है जिसमें पूरी बिल्डिंग टिक सकती है बट इस तरह ही कीस्टोन स्पीसीज है जिन पे पूरा का पूरा एक इकोसिस्टम कम्युनिटी स्ट्रक्चर है वो टीका होता है अगर वहाँ से हम वो कीस्टोन स्पीसीज को रिमूव कर दें तो पूरा का पूरा इकोसिस्टम है वो पूरा डिस्टर्ब हो जाता है लाइक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द सम सी वोस्टर वी विल डिस्कस इन आवर प्रेजेंटेशन Uh, in lastly some ecosystem might not be able to adapt environment changes their keystone species or disappear this agar uh, keystone species in na rahi to pura jo ek keystone species ka jo environment hai ecosystem hai wo pura ka pura disappear ho jayega that could spell the end of the ecosystem or it could allow an invasive species to take over the dramatically shift of ecosystem in new direction example of keystone species is sea oyster it feed on sea urchin and control their population like because the sea urchin eat the grass or kalf grass kalf is the one of the sea grass to eat and kalf is a one type of uh, create environment that environment in so many uh, species are there survive are there like but the sea urchin population are increased that's why some animals like migrate remove or easily feed to predator then the whole environment are disturbed 
so this in this in the sea oyster are control that population of the sea urchin if the sea urchin population is not controlled it would be eat up the seaweed just we example like uh, seaweed means the kalp grass which is the major source of the food for the ecosystem a keystone species is often but not aware a predators herbivores can also be keystone species for example in africa savanna elephant are here the figure so the elephant are control the trees population because the because the in forest so many trees uh, tree population are increased then survival rate are automatically decrease some big animal like elephant for example in african savanna elephants are keystone species it control the tree population which makes the grass thrives and sustain grazing and unfortunately tree population is increased then some grass land are automatically decrease then the herbivores animal also the its population are decrease foundation species what is the foundation species it refer to the species that create a maintain of the ecosystem means its main role of the in the ecosystem it has strong role in structure a community and can occupy the trophic level in the food web like coral example like coral corals in this figure shows in just so many fish population are nearby the coral community is the foundation species like coral coral are the one of the example of the foundation species it produces the reef structure and which countless other organism include human being live because the some species are increased then ultimately the human are catch the fish and survive other example of the foundation species are hardwood forest kelp based and sea grasses meadows and next one is the umbrella species a umbrella species is a large animal or other organism on which may other species depend in depend uh, uh, depend uh, it uh, umbrella species means that it depend indirectly one to other umbrella species are very similar to keystone species but umbrella species are usually migratory and needed to large habitat protecting umbrella species automatically protect host of the other species the name shows the umbrella umbrella means the protect other species okay the tiger tiger are the example of the umbrella species afford the save wild tiger in forest area also they accomplish the goal of the saving other species there such as the leopard boar hares antelopes and monkeys because the we we are save tiger ultimately some uh, other species are also save indicator species what is, what is the indicator because the some pollution are there so some species are also indicator species and indicator species is the plant or animal the very sensitive to environment changes in ecosystem right it, it is a short definition of the indicator okay environment changes in ecosystem sensitive environment changes indicator species get the effort almost immediately by damage for example influence such as the water pollution air pollution or climate changes to the ecosystem and gives the earlier warning example of the indicator species lichens are the indicator of the air pollution especially of the sulfur dioxide in environment or water sulfur dioxide pollution are increases the lichen is the indicator of the sulfur dioxide adult frog and toads adult frog are good the indicator species since the skin of the adults are moist and permeable allowing the numerous pollutant entry into the and their body like water body ponds dead pods live in the water and indicator water quality issue salmons are the indicator species of the wetland ecosystem and now we come to the ecos uh, uh, ecosystem engineer 
because so many species are the control the ecosystem and further use these are the organism that create the modify and maintain the habitat like engineer engineer works means to maintain the work and maintain the habitat ecosystem engineer can alter the dis distribution and abundance of the large number of plant and animal and significant modify biodiversity the best known example of the ecosystem engineers are humans homo sapiens like two types of ecosystem engineer are there here the figure shows the uh, one uh, uh, one uh, birds are there its birds its birds is the vulture vulture is the good example of the ecosystem engineer allogenic engineer to change the environment by transferring living or non living materials around them like example of beavers create the dams and streams which saw the movement of the water behind the beaver, uh, beaver dam and pond of still water is formed this pond is the colonized by animal and plants that typically live in lakes rather than the streams and autogenic means it changes the environment via their own physical st structure like that is the living their living and dead tissue create the habitats for other organism to lie or on it like tree corals and giant crabs are good example of the allogenic engineer yet the one figure shows the sea sea oyster before earlier discussion we one example of the sea oyster so we very good example of the sea oyster and we describe in detail if we talk about keystone species why it is a keystone species in uh, uh, in uh, example of the sea oyster just assume a simple scenario in ocean most of the region you can see the kalp forest kalp means the one type of the uh, grass you can see here green color kalp is the look like the algae kalp means a type of the plant kalp is the present throughout of like algae and kalp is the one type of the plant like algae so kalp kalp produce the forest in their ocean under the water or it's called the underwater forest this forest home for millions different species ocean species vertebrate invertebrate species mostly inverb invertebrate species live there they live there and it's a home for the many species many vertebrates and invertebrates there the kalp forest it is a home so kalp forest it is a very very important so if there are kalp forest in ocean we can find multiple population of their species over there right as it's home now another threads to the kalp forest and that is the sea urchin now predators come like sea urchin sea urchin eat the kalp okay or sea urchin depend on the kalp because the un, uh, indirectly sea urchin eat the all kalp species sea urchin eat the kalp or kill the kalp so ultimately sea urchin destroy the kalp forest so if sea urchin destroy the kalp forest all other the species go on like some uh, in kalp forest environment so many fish so many mollusks so many other example of the species are vertebrate or invertebrate survive are there but kalp is no more than species are ultimately go on so other species other invertebrate and inv invertebrate species cannot live there because of the them carb 
कल्प फॉरेस्ट कैन सर्वाइव कैन नॉट सर्वाइव दे कैन पुट दैम सर्वाइवल टूगेदर एंड सर्वाइव फ्रॉम द प्रिडेटर दैट्स वाई स्पीसीज आर गो ऑन एज ए देर एज ए देर इज ए नो कल्प फॉरेस्ट दैट ओशियन विल बी कम्प्लीटली ट्रांसफर और ट्रांसपरेंट सो अदर स्पीसीज कैन इजिली टैक दैम टू दैम इज डायवर्सिटी कैन नॉट लाइव देर so if sea urchin present less kalp forest present so ultimately less less other species so presence of the sea urchin it destroying some other species also indirectly now the sea water is the middle man or come as a keystone species sea water eats the sea urchin so it can reduce the population of the sea urchin so sea water reducing the population of the sea urchin as well as the result kalp forest can now grow if think kalp forest grow all the other species come back and they can also survive the kalp forest it's a natural habitat so presence of the sea water indirectly helping thousands of thousands other invertebrates and vertebrate species to live their natural habitats and balance the population or thrive the population right so that things present of the sea water helped thousand of the other species so abundance of the sea water helps of the thousand of the species kalp forest in that case sea water is the term as a keystone species very very important for the other surrounding species relative to the its abundance that is the idea about the keystone species and this is the true no this is the true not only for the animals but in the plant also you can see thing and actually the idea is that in ecosystem and environment is think connect every one our use of link that is the idea of the ecosystem and ecology right so here that is the beautiful example of the keystone species like sea otter and sea urchin some calls like so i hope you all are this video helps you if you like this video press the like button if you share also with your friends and definitely subscribe to my channel pradeep's biology for that more and more videos thank you thank you so much